What up, YouTube? I want to give a little quick synopsis on universal principles versus legal and moralized principles. Um, and the biggest differentiation for me is universal principles are very objective. They don't have any kind of subjectivity to it, whereas moralized principles and legalities and things of that nature are more based upon uh, subjective means and is used as a means to attain justice. And the biggest contradiction for that is one might perceive it as being a justice for others, but one might conceive it as being an injustice for them. So you can see the very the conflicting elements that really stir up um, separation um, between people. And as opposed to universal principles, as I said, they're very they're very objective. They focus on uh, positive and negative energy. Um, you do perceivably bad things, then that those bad things will start trickling down on you. You do promising and good things to the world, then they come down and trickle upon you. So they have no boundaries. They just it just is. It just happens. Versus um, moralization and legal principles. Um, that's solely encapsulated by a legal system, they're the biggest contributor, in my opinion, to violence and conflict amongst people because we see the justice system as a means to obtain it. And one can say, what is justice? How do we constitute justice? What are the elements that make up justice? When you serve others and you say this is justice, well, what happens to them? They get the injustice, so you can definitely definitely see that moralization and legal principles are is a flawed human concoction. That you know people might disagree with this, but in a sense, um, if we all were just to uh, create a sort of like a universal principle, not necessarily create it because you will still be creating uh, moralized principles, but but just be bounded by the universal principles, knowing that killing is wrong. No matter if you kill a human, an animal, an insect, killing is killing. A lot of people confuse or they're just misinformed that killing a human is not as substantial and not as, uh, it doesn't have the lacrimosity versus uh, killing an insect, an ant or a fly or a bug that somehow just happens to land on your food, you want to kill it. Or a wasp or a bee, things of that nature. We see those are... Uh, they're not as important to life. When really, in actuality, I'm sure bumblebees contribute more to this earth more than humans, including myself, because we're all victims of this capitalistic and coercive system. And um, so pretty much killing is killing. We have to stop seeing, okay, these dogs are being abused. Well, in a sense, the meat that you're eating is probably being abused. So why don't you take it upon yourself to become a vegan? And I'm not trying to be sound mean or anything. It's just that we always talk about that's wrong and this is right. But killing is killing in general. You kill an insect, it's the same as killing a human. They all have purpose. Everything that's breathing has purpose. Everything that is created within this external and three-dimensional realm has a purpose. Me talking on this computer, it's a purpose to give people different insight on life. So... These lights, they have purpose. They've given me light so that I can make this video. So, I mean, everything has a purpose. And that goes to my other video I made. Everything is purpose. That is purpose. Just being, living, um, seeing, all this stuff. So, um, just really think about what, it, what constitutes morality. What constitutes universal principles. And knowing that universal principles really don't have a judicial system. They don't have anyone to enforce it because it just is versus a, a legal system. Someone's enforcing that and it's based upon their judgment and what they think is right. And it could be wrong in a sense from the other side. So just be wary of those principles and try to really live by universal law because that's what we're abided. That's what we're bounded by, natural law. All right, peace.